Hey everyone, let's dive into something that's been causing quite a stir in Karnataka, India. I'm talking about the massive protests erupting over the Prajwal Ravana abuse case. Here's what you need to know. Prajwal Ravana, a lawmaker and the grandson of a prominent political figure, faces severe accusations of sexually abusing multiple women. This scandal surfaced when pen drives allegedly containing explicit videos involving Ravana were circulated just before the elections. Now, imagine this. As Ravana is set to return to India, the entire region is on edge. There's a looming possibility that his diplomatic passport might be revoked and he could be arrested the moment he steps onto Indian soil. But let's talk about the people's response, because that's where the heart of this story really beats. Thousands have taken to the streets in a protest called Hassan Chalo. Imagine a sea of demonstrators marching through the streets of Karnataka, their footsteps and voices united in demand for justice and accountability. The beats of tomate and resonating drums fill the air, not just as background noise, but as a powerful chorus of defiance and solidarity. The march, named Nama Nadige Hasanada Kadega, our march towards Hassan, isn't just a local outcry, it's a resonant demand for systemic change. This isn't just a single community's fight, it's a coalition. Women's rights activists, labor activists, farmers, Dalit, and the LGBTQ plus community all marching side by side. They are led by the human rights collective Navedu Nila Didara, which translates to, if we don't stand up. And stand up they have. This protest isn't just about Ravana, it's a stand against a culture that too often silences voices and a call for accountability that reaches far beyond the borders of Karnataka or even India. As Ravana's plane touches down, the world is watching. Will justice prevail, or will this be another case of power shielding the powerful? Whatever the outcome, the voices of Karnataka have echoed a message loud and clear. Change is necessary and it is demanded. Thanks for tuning in. Stay engaged, stay informed, and remember, sometimes the most powerful stories come from the voices of the people.